three. Uh, hey, now it's time to dust off your gumbo pots because it finally feels like fall. Yeah, Maddie Kurth is live in the splash zone, the splash zone, aka the New Orleans Lake Front, uh, where that cold front you could see it pushing into the city right now. Yes, Kelsey, unfortunately, I did just get wet. I have to be on the desk at noon today, so I don't know what's going to happen with this hair, but we'll worry about that later. Take a look at it, though. I really, I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen the lakefront this vicious, and so here it is, the cool front moving in in real time. The birds are loving it. There's a little bit of a feeding frenzy going on every once in a while. They'll just all start diving down, crashing into the waves, but then every once in a while, you also see the birds get stuck into a, a pocket of air, and they get kind of stalled out there, but really, the big visual right here is all this water whipping through and then I want to show you the designated splash zone here Cole watch yourself don't don't step too far back you got some rocks there but as this water crashes over onto all these cars getting mother nature's car wash over here it starts to really clear out quickly no major flooding or anything like that but I did want to mention part of Lakeshore Drive does have some cones up it's that typical spot that always gets water on it it's kind of by the parish line between JP and Orleans. Uh-oh, Cole's got some wet socks now as these waves are getting a little bit more vicious and a little bit closer to us. Now, we've talked to a couple folks out here on, on the lakefront. Nobody is ready to go on camera yet. They, say, they tell me it's a little bit too early to be camera ready, but, you know, they say the same things. They're, they're pretty much amazed to see all of this happening. We've had a couple dogs out here enjoying the fun, but for now, the, the story really is the wind pushing through, some really nice cooler temperatures coming our way. It's starting to feel like fall, y'all. That chicken and andouille sausage gumbo is going to be real nice cooking on the stove. I can almost smell it right now. Right now, though, all I'm tasting is this brackish water. So that's the latest update here live from the lakefront. Maddie Kurth, Fox 8, Local First. Maddie, does Cole have an extra pair of socks? As you just mentioned, uh, he, those, those socks just got hit <laughs> in the splash zone. we we got to make sure he's uh, taken care of out there. <laughs> Cole Walker learned very well from Francine. You got to have every single thing you can possibly need. I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a whole complete change of clothes in the back seat. And honestly, he needs it because you can't see him. He's behind the camera, but he's wearing a big old Alabama zip-up oh. jacket right now. We got to get him something oh, nicer, maybe like a purple and gold so. variety, something. Yeah. Well, Maddie, uh, y'all, y'all take a break yeah. from the splash zone. Uh, dry off, change clothes if you need to, and we'll check back in with you guys in just a little bit. <laughs>